Hi YouTubers. Um, so I just made my video for um, my trying to um, conceive. And so I was sitting here and I was um, watching my video back. Um, about ready to put it um, online and I noticed that I forgot to kind of tell you um, about my, um, I don't want to say my history, but so to speak, my history with um, birth control. So um, I've used birth control on and off um, through my life, but I've always kind of had, um, what is always kind of had, <laughs> I've had issues um, with certain types of birth controls and stuff like that. So um, when I moved back home um, back in September and stuff like that, um, my sister um, helped me get on some birth control. It was a low dose. Um, and so I took it for the first month, you know, after I started my period, um, I took it like I was supposed to. And then my period was so bad because having the endometriosis, you have really bad um, periods. So um, I, I, w I was kind of just talking to her one day. I was like, oh, I wish there was some way that I could just skip this whole period stuff. And so she said, well, there is a way. So she works at the doctor's office, by the way. So she went to work and she talked to the nurses there. Um, and they were really non knowledgeable and they said um, she could skip her period by um, starting a new pack, meaning that when it goes to the pills that are for your, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, for your menstrual cycle, instead of taking those, open a new pack and then just keep going with the blue pills. So that's what I did. So um, they said that you don't need to skip it for more than three months, so 90 days. So, because um, you need to at least try to give your body a little bit of time to help clean out the tissues and stuff like that. So that's what I did. Um, I skipped my period for three months. And then um, when the time came around for me to have my period, that's when I stopped taking the birth control. But I stopped taking it a week before I was supposed to have my period. So... That being said, that's not the way to go if you're on birth control now and you're looking at stopping um, your birth control, trying to get pregnant, finish the pack out and then just stop. Don't stop in the middle and don't do what I did because um, I waited, let's see, it, it, a month and a half, well I don't want to say a month and a half, but over a month, so almost six weeks um, for my period to finally come. and. Um, I was spotting and I thought that it was, you know, um, that, it, that I, I was pregnant, that I thought, you know, that the embryo and all that stuff, that everything was attaching and blah, blah, blah. So, um, embryo, I'm looking at the computer. Um, anyways, I thought that, um, that I had, what is the word called? Um, Im, uh, implantation, in, implantation, you know what I'm talking about, implantation. I can't even talk today. Bleeding. Um, and then I think now that I look back on everything, I think it was just my body kind of kicking off some things because I was off of the birth control. And um, then come to find out that when you stop your birth control and all that, it kind of, your body goes all crazy and it makes you think that you're pregnant. So as far as like feeling nauseous, feeling tired, you know, I felt bloated. I mean, my body was just so out of whack. Like, I really thought I was pregnant. And then when that test, you know, when I saw the faint pink lines, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, I'm pregnant. And I thought for about a week that I was pregnant until me and my sister got to talking and then kind of looking it up. And then the whole evaporation line thing came in there. And it was wrong because when I took the test, I had one line come up and it was fairly dark. And then there was a light, it was the one next to it, it was just a light little line. It was kind of just pink. And, um, so I was like, okay, well, you know, whatever. And so I threw it away and I come back about 30 minutes later and I was just in the bathroom washing my hands off and everything. And I looked down at the trash and I saw the pregnancy test and there was another line there that had appeared and I was like, what? Oh my gosh. And it never occurred to me that I probably shouldn't read them after they've been set for that long. Like, don't read them after they've, you know, after they set for a little time. So, um, so yeah, I, for like a week, I thought I was pregnant and yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I do and I don't recommend the dollar store test. I only got one of those because it was like, if it was negative, then I didn't waste anything. 
um, because the evaporation lines on those are hard to read. Um, I'm finding out more and more it's just easier to spend the extra dollar and um, take the clear blue test and know for sure if, it, if you are pregnant or you're not pregnant. Um, instead of just trying to read lines and all of that. It just, ugh, what a mess. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, I also read online once I figured out that I was not pregnant and I kind of just had to sit and wait out my period, that it could take your body um, up to three months to get straightened out um, for you to even have a period. You know, I read on there that some people, um, it was three months before um, they had a period. And I like to me waiting that long just like absolutely positively just drove me insane. Um, so I'm I'm happy that I started my um, menstrual cycle and everything like that. But um, just my my advice because it did happen to me you know shortly. Um, I would definitely finish out your um, birth control if you're if you're on the pills and go from there. Um, at least wait one menstrual cycle. Um, just to kind of make sure that everything um, is in tip top shape. Um, you can try, I might try, I haven't quite made up my mind yet, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling that like on the first go around that I might just, you know, kind of go with the flow so to speak just when I think that I'm ovulating. Um, you know, like I said before that I'm going to, um, Oof, gotta get positioned here. That I'm going to just um, do it from the end of my menstrual cycle to like um, three days, two or three days, something like that, before I'm due to ovulate. And if it doesn't work that go around, then the next time I might try um, an OPK, which if you don't know what an OPK is, um, it's an ovulation predictor kit um, or prediction kit. Um, so I might try that. Um, just because, like, like I said before, you know, this is my last time, and I really am hoping to achieve a girl. So I've been looking at like the diets and positions and um, timing and you know everything under the sun for that type of stuff. So if you guys have any advice on um, conceiving girls, um, please let me know and leave some comments below. But um, if you have been on um, birth control for many, many years and stuff like that, um, definitely make a quick stop um, to your doctor. Tell them what you're planning on doing. See what they recommend. Um, stuff like that. Um, if you are like me, a fellow trying to conceive um, person, then definitely start your prenatal vitamins. Um, that will also help you conceive. And then when you are pregnant, you're not like, oh my gosh, um, quit smoking, quit drinking, um, watch what you eat. Um, I definitely start watching your activity. And um, some people, they kind of go in this little, I don't want to say binge, but it's like, oh, I, I need to lose weight before I get pregnant. I don't recommend that because if you lose weight, it can delay your period. And then you're stuck thinking, yeah, do I have my period? Do I not? Am I pregnant? Yeah, so I don't, I don't recommend that. To me, it's just if you, if you care about losing weight, get pregnant, have your baby, enjoy being pregnant, eat what you're gonna eat that's good for you, good for the baby, all of that, and then after that, then worry about getting that, you know, weight off. After you've got the approval from the doctor, you know, work your butt off to get that weight off. But until then, just, you know, just, just have fun with it. And also, don't get stressed about, you know, because I am, like, the main person. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm probably going to get, like, really stressed, you know, and you're probably going to see me in one of these videos, like, break down. Because I don't expect it to happen this month. I really don't. Some people are very fortunate that it does happen soon. I probably am not. I'm, I'm hoping that it'll happen, but, yeah. Um, you know, just don't freak out about it. Don't stress, stuff like that. Um, if you're like me and you're trying to um, conceive a girl... Definitely do your research online because there is talk about positions, there's talk about diets, um, there's even talk about like shallow penetration, um, timing, um, if, it, if you're carrying um, high or low. Um, they say if you carry low, it's boys. If you carry high, it's girls. And then they say if, um, if you're listening to your baby's heartbeat and it sounds like a washing machine it's a boy and I forgot what they said if it sounds like if it's a girl anyways but like there's so much stuff online so just kinda do your research and you know just kinda have fun with it that's what I'm hoping to do so so yeah um anyways wish me luck so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video I don't wanna keep you guys on here watching 
this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that about my birth control, just in case you guys might be experiencing that and you've been looking, because when I was experiencing that, I was looking up online, it's like, if I'm not pregnant, then why this delay, blah, blah, blah. So if you guys are kind of experiencing the same thing, I hope this video helps you guys out. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So have a good day. Bye.